Hi, and welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math Think Thursday problem. This week, we're going to do a pretty popular deductive reasoning problem that um, has been on the internet for a while. Uh, if you've seen it and you know how to solve it, it's pretty fun. If you don't, you're probably a little bit stumped. So the problem is Albert and Bernard just became friends with Cheryl, and they want to know when her birthday is. Cheryl gives them a list of 10 possible dates, May 15th, May 16th, May 19th, June 17th, June 18th, July 14th, July 16th, August 14th, August 15th, and August 17th. Cheryl then tells Albert and Bernard separately the month and day of her birthday, respectively. So she tells Albert the month and Bernard the day. And then we have a set of responses between Albert and Bernard. Um, and from there, we're supposed to determine when is Cheryl's birthday. So Albert first says, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know that Bernard doesn't know too. Bernard then responds, at first I didn't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know now. Um, and then Albert says, then I also know. So really, to begin, this seems pretty tricky. But the easiest way to do is knowing that Cheryl tells Albert and Bernard both the month and day, respectively. Let's just make a table of what it is that she basically tells them. So having made a kind of a table of the different things that Cheryl would have told Albert and Bernard, she tells Albert the month, then just kind of saying what the different options are for each month, and if she tells Bernard the day, saying what the different options are for each day. And you'll notice for Bernard, if Cheryl would have told him either the 18th or the 19th, then he already does would know exactly what um, the date of Cheryl's birthday is. So going forward, we're going to keep that in mind. And now we're just going to go through the different statements that the two make to each other and just kind of deductive reason out what her birthday is. So the first statement is, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know that Bernard doesn't know too. So Albert says that, and you know that Albert is given the month. And really what we just said with Bernard knowing that if he's given either the date of the 18th or the 19th, he already knows what Cheryl's birthday is. The only way that Albert can be sure that Bernard also does not know what day um, Cheryl's birthday is, is if Albert is confident and already knows that June and May both are not what month Cheryl's birthday is in. Um, that's really the only way to get rid of June and May. Um, and we're assuming that Albert and Bernard both have kind of graphs like this available to them. They can cross out things and see where things go. So the only way Albert knows that Bernard does not know the birthday as well is if she knows he can't, um, he can't have a birthday in June or May. So we can go through and cross that out. And since Albert is confident that June and May aren't the month that Cheryl's birthday are in, we can just go through and cross out those months for the rest of Bernard and uh, Albert's tables. So already we've kind of narrowed it down a little bit, which is good. So let's move on to the second statement, which is, at first I didn't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but now I, not, I now know. So what Bernard is basically saying is that at first um, he didn't know when Cheryl's birthday was. So from the options available, he would have had a date given to him that had two months, and he couldn't determine which month that was. But since from the first step with what Albert said, he was able to cross out different months, and he can now determine what day it is. So that means that it has to be one of these three options. Either the 15th, 16th, or 17th is what uh, Bernard was given in terms of a date. Um, we know that if he was given the 14th, he still wouldn't be able to determine uh, what month Cheryl was born in. And since he says, but I now know, we know it has to be one of those three. Um, so what we can do is cross out then the 14th as a possible date for Cheryl's birthday. So that narrows things down once again. And we can move on to the third and final statement, which is Albert saying, then I also know. 
So what Albert is really saying here is that from what Bernard just said, we were able to cross out certain dates uh, from the month that Albert was given, and he now knows what date and month that Cheryl was born in. So looking at the possibilities for Albert, we can see that for July, there's only one date available. So that's honestly a good option for Cheryl's birthday. And if for some reason Albert had been given August at this point, he still wouldn't be able to de determine what date her birthday is at. So we know that it has to be July 16th. And uh, Bernard has already determined what day her birthday is. And now that Albert has, we know for sure. Cheryl's birthday has to be July 16th. Uh, so that's all we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed watching this deductive reasoning problem. Uh, please check out some more of our playlists on YouTube, uh, subscribe on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Thank you.